Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. This um, this box has actually already been opened because when you buy a phone in Japan, they open it for you so that they can set up the phone for you. But I thought you might like to see what's in the box, what you do and you don't get, like you don't get an AC adapter and you, you don't get a micro SD card, uh, a micro SD card built in. You have to buy that separately, stuff like that. So um, let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. You can see I have the Docomo version. Um, that is the Japanese phone company. There are two companies at the moment. There may be more in the future. But at the moment, it's only Docomo and AU that are providing it. Um, the model number is SC01G for the Galaxy Note Edge. This is what is on the side of the box. Nothing about, nothing really detailed apart from the fact that you get the charcoal black edition. The white version will be coming soon, but it won't be released until November. So if you'd like the white version, you've got to wait a bit longer. It comes with a battery pack. It comes with a Ria Kaba. A rear cover, so it's got a rear cover, battery pack, it's got a TV antenna cable, don't know what that's about, touch pen, which is the normal pen, there's a microphone headset that comes with it as well, and what's this, a quick start guide, yep, quick start guide, and ah, Betsu Udi, so this means that it's sold separately, the AC adapter does not come in the box, and neither does the micro SD card, this is a 32 gigabyte um, device. So let's go ahead and unbox it, I'll just pull this slowly open, and look at that. This is our Galaxy Note Edge. Just pull it out here. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's still got the plastic on it. Um, I haven't managed to take that off yet. But yeah, that is the Galaxy Note Edge. That's it from the front. This is the edge, the all, the all important edge. This is what it looks like from the top. This is what it looks like on the bottom. You can see this is where the pen comes out. This is what the pen looks like. Like that. Like the previous Galaxy Notes, actually, it is reversible, so you can put it in either way. Here on the back, you can see the camera. I think it's a 16 megapixel camera. It has a heart rate sensor and a flashlight here. Um, it says Docomo on the back, but I don't know if that's just the sticker. I don't think that's actually on the device. There's a speaker here on the back. I think that's the only place there is a speaker. Okay, I don't actually know exactly where the real chip is, but this part just says that you can use this phone as a mobile payments system. So it's connected to my bank account and I actually can use this phone and scan it up to 2,000 yen, which is only $20. So I can spend up to $20 a month <laughs> using this phone um, as, my, as my debit card, basically, which is pathetic. I'm always gonna need more than $20 a month, but for now, it's $20, and apparently that amount will go up in the future. Before I actually turn it on, I'm just going to peel these covers off because it makes me itchy just looking at it. So that is what it looks like without that plastic cover on it. And I'll put that to the side. And just for good measure, let's pull off the one on the back as well. Okay, ah, that's interesting. Okay, I didn't realize this, but it actually says Docomo inscribed <laughs> into the back of the case. Um, that's interesting, I didn't know that. And actually, this mark is also built into the case, the part that says that it's got NFC built in. Um, and down here you can see, Galaxy Note Edge. Um, it has a very nice feel to it. Um, you wouldn't know that it was just pl normal plastic if you weren't, if you didn't try really hard to think about it. Um, it just feels like a sort of, how do you say, like a very hard leather, <laughs> like a hard plastic leather basically. But it feels nice. They've got rid of the stitching, which, which is nice. Um, I don't think many people were a fan of the stitching before. Um, and also just having the metal surround, it just adds a premium feel to it. And this is the most premium phone they're really making at the moment, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, as you can see, I have fairly large hands, but this is totally a usable device. I think a lot of people thought that the whole phablet thing was stupid at the start, and it is a little bit stupid, but look at that. You know, I can totally use it. I would have to like balance it in my fingers a bit to use it, but it's not gonna, you know, I don't feel like I'm gonna drop it because it's too big. Like, it's basically almost the same size as an iPhone 6 Plus, and I am going to switch it on so you can see. So there you go, this is the Galaxy Note Edge. You can see it's 12 a.m. because I've been really busy all day and I've only had, ch had a chance to come home and film this video now, so it's really, really late at night. So uh, I will just unlock the phone and you can see that horrible, what the heck is he? Is he a sheep or something? I don't, I don't even know, but basically, yeah, I don't, I don't like him and I, 
Oh no, oh horrible, what is this? Shove it, oh good grief. Okay, okay, so this is horrible, I need to get rid of it. He's, oh, he's still there. Oh, I don't, I need to get rid of him if it, if, as soon as possible. Okay, so basically you can see that the screen does swipe over here on the left, you can go through all the different panels, and if you swipe up here from the bottom and click this cog wheel, you can actually go to something called Express Me, so I'm actually quite interested in this. You click Express Me and press plus, and then you can actually choose your own like sidebar that just has like I don't know a personal message basically and if I don't I don't I don't know how to do it actually I think you press this image but okay you just click that image button there you just choose a photo from your gallery say this picture of uh, some buildings and then you can actually stretch out the picture and only choose a small sliver of the image basically just a teeny tiny bit of it and you use that part of the image to become your panel so I just click uh, back click save and there you have it, it has made that building a, a panel. So now I can select it from all my new panels, I can choose the one that I just made, and then if I actually turn the device off, when I flick it back on again, that panel that I took from a photo has become my new home panel. And you can draw messages on it, and you can personalize it, and do all sorts of cool things with it. So that's really quite cool. So yeah, a nice, sleek device. It is super thin. Like, I really love how thin it is. and It feels thinner just because it's a big device. Like, a, a device this big and this thin is kind of unusual for me because I'm always holding PS Vitas and 3DSs, and they're actually quite chunky. Okay, so I'll just put the device here to the side, and let's see what else is inside the box. Pull this open here, and I don't know if I can, I don't know if this actually, oh, 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 not really. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is a book with the quick start guide. Oh dear. Um, okay. Okay, nothing too exciting, just, you know, lots of Japanese, <laughs> basically. Uh, over here we have some kind of audio cable. Okay, this is a TV tuner cable, and I don't think it's an antenna, but I think you can connect a Galaxy Note Edge to an external antenna if you use this cable. That seems to be what it says here. So that's what that's for. That's what one seg is for, like, sort of wireless portable TV. These are the earphone covers for this. This is a very, very Apple style white earphone set. It's about that long to get about this much extra cable in it. It's it's probably a bit too long to be honest. And the and the sort of headphones themselves are this kind of quality. So yeah. They don't look super comfortable, but at least they'll stay in your ears. This is a set of styluses that you can put into the pen. If you don't like the pen, the feel of the pen, it looks like there's a couple different thicknesses and softnesses that you can... Softnesses? Is that a word? Um, uh, different ranges of softness that you can put into the um, S Pen that comes with the phone. I guess this, this metal tool... Rah, this tool seems to be the way that you um, pull the um, nib out of the S Pen. Nothing else inside the box, just, uh, oh, I am just destroyed it, actually. I think you can use your nail and actually pry this cover open. Okay, oh, this doesn't feel safe. It's making weird noises, feels dodgy. Ah, okay, that doesn't sound nice, but okay, I've managed to do it and I haven't broken it. This is the back cover of the phone. Um, as you can see, this is where the micro SD card will go inside. Uh, there's a SIM chip here. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is probably NFC. This is the speaker. This is the speaker. Um, and this is the battery that it comes with. It is a little smaller than the Galaxy Note 4. This is a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So it's not going to last quite as long as a Note 4 in theory. But, um, you know, in real world testing, that might be different. Okay, just click it into place. Yeah. Okay, not bad. That's something that's really nice about the Galaxy Note 4 and the Galaxy Note Edge. Like, these phones have removable batteries, and I really, really like that because it means you can buy a second battery and just go on a long trip. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I have to show you. Inside the box, you have the phone, it has the back cover, the battery, and the device itself. It also has a set of headphones with a microphone built in. There is a little thing that you can use to pry the nibs out of the S Pen, plus a bunch, I think five? Five, it comes with five extra nibs just in case you lose them or you want to change them. You also have these, um, what are these? These are the covers for the ear pads if you want to use bigger, smaller um, ear pads on the earphones. And over here you have the quick start guide just in case you um, have any questions. And last but not least, this very uh, mysterious cable. Okay, that's all I have time for today. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next video.